welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge NYX haul for you guys and I can't wait to show you guys everything I've bought. This is probably the first time I ever bought so many things from NYX because they did open two locations in Canada that I'm aware of. One in downtown Toronto and one in Mississauga Square One. So I went to both the stores and did a couple of trips and got a bunch of stuff. So I can't wait to show you guys everything. Saying that, let's just get straight into the video. So I'm just gonna straight up start off with the thing that I'm most excited about that I purchased, of course. And those are uh, the lingerie liquid lipsticks. So I got six of them. And I kind of tried to choose shades that would of course look nice on me because they do have a lot of lighter shades as well. Basically this liquid lipstick line is kind of meant to be different variations of nudes for various skin tones. And all the colors are super duper beautiful and I did pick up six as you can see over here. <laughs> and I'm not going to really get too into it but I'll tell you guys which shades I got. Just because I am going to do a swatch of review video on this, as a lot of you guys had requested. So I got the shade Teddy. I got the shade Embellishment. I got Ruffle Trip. Oh, this is Ruffle Trip. And I got Exotic. Exotic is what I have on my lips right now. I love this one, the color of it at least. And then I got Beauty Mark. I also got Honeymoon. And yeah, this is something else. I don't know why I put it there. <laughs> but yeah, I got six different shades, all a variation of different neutrals. Although I find that some of them do kind of go towards pinkier, corally tones. Some of them kind of go purpley and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm not going to say too much about it because I will show you guys this in a video very soon. Next thing I got was actually one of their concealers. And this is in the shade Tad bronze and i think now that i'm looking at it it might be a little bit too light for me but when i swatched it there it looked like it would be fine if it is too light i could just use it as a highlighter of course i haven't used it yet but i just heard really good reviews on this product i heard it's really comparable to the urban decay concealer so i really wanted to try it out and i can't wait to try it out if you guys want to see reviews or first impressions or anything on any of these products that I am going to show you. Make sure to let me know because I could definitely do that for you guys. But yeah, this is the next thing I got. It, it is just their HD concealer. Next I picked up their HD finishing powder. This is something I also heard good reviews on just on like other people's YouTube channels. And it's basically a yellow finished powder just to set under the eyes and stuff like that. You guys know I love my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. But I just like always use that. So I just want to see if I can find something else that I love as much. So again, I haven't tried this but I'm definitely definitely excited to try it. Next I got their eyebrow gel. It's just a clear eyebrow gel. I do use the Anastasia one but again I love that one and I like to try different products so I really thought since this is super affordable I might as well try it and just see how it is. Again haven't tried it yet. If you want to see reviews or anything just let me know but yeah it's just a clear eyebrow gel. Next I got another lip product and that is their liquid suede lips. So they're like cream lipstick. It's kind of a liquid to like I wouldn't say a matte finish it's kind of a creamy kind of satin-ish finish it's in the shade stone fox so it's just a straight up gray kind of like a blue gray I find when you apply it on your lips I have tried this one to be honest I find that it doesn't really last on the lips it's like pretty streaky when I apply it and like just kind of fades away really fast. Maybe I'm not applying it properly. I'm definitely going to look at videos of how people apply it just to maybe see if I'm doing something wrong. I just applied it as a normal liquid lipstick, I guess you would say. Just like all over the lips. And But yeah, I love the shade though. It's super unique. I really wanted to try kind of their berry darker shades, but everything was sold out in both locations. So yeah, this is the shade. Did I say what shade was? This is the shade Stone Fox, and again, it's just a great. I'm gonna kind of move on to all the eye products I purchased. None of them are eyeshadows, which is kind of funny, but I picked up two of these little liquid glitters, I guess you could say. They're just like liquid glitter eyeliners. They're literally called Liquid Crystal Liner. I got one in gold, and the shade is called Dramatic Sparkle. And I, uh, oh, nope, that's not the shade. That is just the name of the product. So the silver one is called Crystal Silver and the other one is called... 
Crystal Silk. So Crystal Silk is gold, Crystal Silver Silver is the silver one. They're basically just glitter liners and I really like them. I've been using them quite a lot. As you can see, they're super easy to apply and they just create a very nice glittery effect which my camera probably isn't picking up on but hey they're really nice I find that these are really nice to line your eyes with if you want to add a little bit of glitter or you could just really layer it on the lids to really get a glittery lid I do that as well and I absolutely love both of these they're super affordable and they go on perfectly they're not even like blotchy or anything like if you take like the product and you swipe it once like fully glitter i love these they're super nice next we have another product i kind of purchased before but i never showed you guys so i thought i might as well just plop it in here and that is the jumbo eye pencil this is just a really nice champagne shade color is called sparkle nude 625 so it's just a very nice champagne shade i really really like it and another reason i got this is because i find that i really hello fuck it <laughs> because i find that i really like how like champagne shades look on my eyelids now they're kind of like a everyday go-to shade for me now i found that this would be a perfect base for anything if i do want to add sparkles or if i just want to do something quick or even if i want to just add some eyeshadow on top so yeah because i tried the white one before in this just to make my eyeshadows pop a little bit more and I really like that so I picked up this one as well. Next I have another two eye products and I guess you could kind of say these are eyeshadows but not really and these are basically their roll on shimmers so they're literally just products that you open and just roll them on so I can open it and I just roll it on and it's just glitter and to be honest when I swatched these I was just like oh my god they're so nice I have to get it it's gonna be glittery like I look super easy blah 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 so I got it in the shades platinum so which is like a really true silver sparkle shade the shade salmon which is kind of a champagne pinky it's a really beautiful shade it's like a shell pink I guess you could say rosy pink like a subtle rosy pink and I also got one in kind of a brown but of course I can't find it when do I ever do a haul and not misplace at least one item like I looked for it everywhere and I couldn't find it but it's basically just like a brown shade very close to my skin tone but it's sparkle so I really wanted to try it out so I have tried these they're nice when you first apply them they're nice and they're easy to blend but as you can see when I apply it on my hand they are super opaque and it just like glides on fully but when I do it on my eyelids that is not necessarily the case I find that they're like kind of patchy you have to really blend it do lots of layers and I find that they don't really last on the eyelids as long either um maybe if I do more layers they may but just as a first impression from trying them I've tried this one no yeah no i tried the pink one and i tried the brown one the brown one was just like maybe because the color is really similar to my skin tone not sure the pink one was okay but again you really have to kind of work with it but for like beginners and the price it's totally fine if you're a beginner sparkles can be really hard to work with because they can get really messy and stuff like that i do have sparkles on my eyes today by the way do you guys like it but anyways <laughs> um they can be really hard to work with so these are definitely really good products for beginners i would say but again you just kind of have to work with it but for the price point they're perfectly fine so yeah these the final item i picked up which was probably the most exciting item of them all i'm totally joking but i just got blotting paper you guys might think this is really weird i'm super oily but i've never owned blotting papers in my life so i was like maybe i should just try them because these are really affordable so there's 100 sheets and it was i don't even remember the price but i'll probably link down everything down below just because nyx does have a canadian site now as well but these are just green tea of blotting papers and yeah if you guys don't know what blotting papers are basically they're just really thin sheets of paper you can just blot on the oily parts of your skin throughout the day and it just takes away the shine i guess you could say and yeah i can't wait to try these i hope they actually work and like 100 sheets seem like a really good deal for me because i'm pretty sure they were less than five dollars so yeah so that's about it guys that is my huge nyx haul Although I bought a lot of stuff, I felt like this haul was really quick. Probably because I haven't really tried many of them, so I didn't have much to say. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do have any questions about any of the products, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you like this video, please click that thumbs up button because it would mean so, so much to me. And maybe even subscribe. Saying that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.